I'm Rex Greeno. This is one of my pride and joys. It's a Tasmanian Aboriginal bark canoe made out of um, swamp tea tree and it's on display here in the National Art Gallery. It took about seven months to make. It's made in a paper mache style, one layer on top of another. It's made into three holes, one main hole and two holes. Well, I think they call them two bilge keels, but um, I stuck to the main hole and people not sort of knows what we're talking about. I found it very difficult to get the materials, of course, but after many, many months of uh, practice, I can tell you, <laughs> and bark, his bark is very strange to work with. I mean, you bend it one way, you try bending it another, and it kinks and out the door's got to go. And I, that amazed me. I thought, well, you know, bark is bark, but it's not quite that. Bark has got a waterproof side and a non-waterproof side that allow the water in, but it won't allow the water out. So the early people, they knew which way to, and if, if you look on there, you can see that the smooth, filvery side, that's the waterproofing, that's so it won't let the, well, it'll always take a bit of water, of course, but it won't let most of the water in. Yeah. The British Museum has got a lot of small models, only so long. A couple of my relations went over there and bought a couple back, and they took x-rays of them, and it showed the centre core, and they showed it, mate, there was little sticks bent to shape the boat. That's all we knew, that's all I knew. And that's all I think the, the guys who made the original canoes, I, I mean, it, down in Hobart, they virtually only used that and their own knowledge. I'm very proud of it, I know, and it's very unique. My son and grandson can carry it on. Of course, the latest one that I made, they virtually helped me do three quarters of it. I just told them what to do and they picked it up quite well. So hopefully they'll carry, carry on yeah, the tradition. Yeah.